In the symphony of life, we often find ourselves surrounded by the cacophony of the world, drowned in the noise of obligations, expectations, and constant connectivity. But what if, in the midst of this chaos, we discovered a silent strength, a power that lies in the simplicity of solitude? As the great philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre once said, If you're lonely when you're alone, you're in bad company. The trouble is, in the modern world, we're never really alone. So, we never really know if we're in bad company. Yet, as we navigate through the constant hum of life, the poet Rumi whispers through the ages, the quieter you become, the more you are able to hear. Have you ever felt that quiet longing, an unspoken yearning for a space of your own? A space where the echoes of your thoughts are not drowned by the noise of the outside world but instead amplified into a powerful symphony of self-discovery? Stay with us till the end of this video as we unravel the chapters of solitude, a story of personal growth, creativity, and the unwavering strength found in the gentle embrace of one's own company. This is not a journey into isolation, but a celebration of the extraordinary power within the ordinary act of being alone. And you're going to discover that solitude is a transformative force that can shape the very essence of who we are. This is the power of being alone. But before we delve further, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can stay alerted to our latest videos. Self-discovery is the journey we undertake when we dare to be alone with our thoughts. It is a pilgrimage into the depths of our being, guided by the silent whispers of our innermost desires and fears. In the solitude of our own company, we find the space to reflect, to ponder, and to question. We confront the mirror of our existence without distraction, peeling back the layers of conditioning and expectation to reveal the essence of who we truly are. Each moment alone becomes a canvas upon which we paint the masterpiece of our lives, with every brushstroke revealing a new facet of our identity. We explore the labyrinth of our minds, uncovering hidden passions, latent talents, and untapped potentials. But self-discovery is not always easy. It requires courage to confront the shadows lurking within, to face our insecurities and doubts head-on. Yet. It is precisely through these struggles that we find strength, resilience, and ultimately, self-empowerment. In the silence of solitude, we come to realize that we are enough, that our worth is not determined by external validation or the opinions of others, but by the depth of our self-awareness and the authenticity of our journey. So, let us embrace the journey of self-discovery with open hearts and open minds, for in the depths of solitude, we find the keys to unlock the infinite potential that lies within each of us. Creativity and productivity can be fostered by being alone, away from the distractions and demands of the outside world. In the serene sanctuary of solitude, our minds are free to roam, explore, and innovate without restraint. Solitude provides the fertile ground upon which creativity can flourish. Away from the noise and clamor of everyday life, our minds are free to wander, to explore, and to dream. In these moments of stillness, we tap into the wellspring of our imagination, drawing inspiration from the depths of our being. Here, in the hushed embrace of solitude, we discover the freedom to express ourselves fully, without inhibition or constraint. Our thoughts flow freely, unrestricted by the judgments or expectations of others, allowing us to explore new avenues of thought and expression. But solitude is not merely a breeding ground for creativity, it is also a catalyst for productivity. Freed from the interruptions and demands of the outside world, we find ourselves fully immersed in our work, able to devote our undivided attention to the task at hand. In this focused state of mind, we achieve a state of flow where time seems to stand still and our actions become effortless. Here, in the quietude of our own company, 
we unlock our full potential, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible and achieving feats we once deemed unattainable. Yet, perhaps the greatest gift of solitude is the opportunity it affords us to create meaningfully. In the absence of external validation or recognition, we find fulfillment in the act of creation itself, deriving satisfaction from the knowledge that our work is a true reflection of ourselves. So let us embrace the solitude that surrounds us, for within its gentle embrace lies the key to unlocking our creative potential and unleashing our productivity. Let us revel in the silence, for it is here, in the quiet depths of our own minds, that we discover the true power of creativity and productivity. Independence and strength can be cultivated through moments of solitude, removed from the distractions and influences of the outside world. Individuals embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Examples of individuals who have embraced solitude as a means to cultivate independence and resilience include adventurers trekking through remote landscapes and artists secluded in their studios. These individuals have found solace and strength in moments of aloneness. In solitude, they confront their fears and insecurities head-on, learning to rely on their own inner resources to navigate life's challenges. Freed from the expectations and judgments of others, they forge their own paths and define success on their own terms. Through periods of solitude, individuals develop a deep sense of self-reliance and confidence in their abilities. They learn to trust their intuition and follow their passions with unwavering determination, regardless of external validation or recognition. But independence does not mean isolation. Rather, it is a celebration of self-sufficiency and autonomy, a recognition of the inherent power that lies within each individual to shape their own destiny. In the solitude of their own company, these individuals find the courage to embrace their true selves and pursue their dreams with unwavering resolve. They draw strength from the quietude of their surroundings, tapping into an inner reservoir of resilience and determination. Ultimately, independence and strength are not merely byproducts of solitude, but essential qualities that are nurtured and cultivated through the solitary journey. By embracing moments of aloneness, individuals discover the profound freedom that comes from knowing oneself and charting one's own course in life. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, our mental well-being often takes a backseat to the demands of work, relationships, and societal expectations. However, solitude offers a sanctuary for the mind, a respite from the constant barrage of stimuli and pressures. At its core, mental well-being encompasses not just the absence of mental illness, but also the presence of positive psychological states such as happiness, contentment, and resilience. Solitude provides a fertile ground for nurturing these positive states, offering individuals the space and time to prioritize their mental health. Research has shown that spending time alone can have profound benefits for mental well-being. Away from the distractions of social interactions and external stressors, individuals can engage in activities that promote relaxation, reflection, and self-care. Whether it's taking a leisurely walk in nature, practicing mindfulness meditation, or simply enjoying a quiet moment of solitude, these activities can help alleviate stress, reduce anxiety, and promote a sense of inner peace. Moreover, solitude allows individuals to reconnect with themselves on a deeper level, fostering self-awareness and introspection. By tuning into their thoughts, emotions, and innermost desires, individuals can gain valuable insights into their own psyche, leading to greater self-understanding and acceptance. Importantly, solitude provides a safe space for processing difficult emotions and experiences. In moments of solitude, individuals can confront and work through their fears, traumas, and challenges without the fear of judgment or interruption. 
This process of emotional healing and resilience building is essential for maintaining mental well-being in the face of life's inevitable ups and downs. Furthermore, solitude encourages individuals to practice self-compassion and self-care. By prioritizing their own needs and boundaries, individuals can cultivate a sense of autonomy and empowerment, leading to greater overall satisfaction and fulfillment in life. Ultimately, mental well-being is not just about the absence of suffering, but about the presence of flourishing and resilience. Solitude offers a pathway to achieving this state of flourishing, providing individuals with the space, time, and freedom to prioritize their mental health and cultivate a deeper sense of inner peace and contentment. Learning to enjoy your own company is a journey of self-discovery and self-acceptance, a process of embracing solitude as a source of joy and fulfillment rather than a source of loneliness or isolation. At its core, here we look into the importance of cultivating a positive relationship with oneself and finding contentment in solitude. It acknowledges that while social connections are valuable, so too is the ability to find happiness and fulfillment in one's own company. One of the key aspects of learning to enjoy your own company is shifting the mindset from seeing solitude as a negative experience to viewing it as an opportunity for self-care and personal growth. Instead of fearing being alone, individuals can learn to appreciate the freedom and autonomy that comes with solitude using it as a time to engage in activities that bring them joy and fulfillment. Here we explore various strategies and practices for embracing solitude and finding enjoyment in one's own company. It encourages individuals to engage in activities that promote self-discovery and self-expression, such as journaling, creative arts, or pursuing hobbies and interests. Moreover, it emphasizes the importance of self-compassion and self-care in learning to enjoy your own company. By treating oneself with kindness and prioritizing self-care practices, individuals can cultivate a deeper sense of self-love and acceptance, making solitude a more enjoyable and fulfilling experience. Additionally, it addresses common misconceptions about solitude and loneliness highlighting the difference between healthy solitude and social isolation. It encourages individuals to reframe their perspective on solitude, recognizing it as a valuable opportunity for self-reflection, introspection, and personal growth. Ultimately, learning to enjoy your own company is about cultivating a sense of inner peace and contentment that transcends external circumstances. It's about finding fulfillment from within, rather than relying on external validation or social connections for happiness. By embracing solitude as a time for self-discovery, self-care, and personal growth, individuals can learn to appreciate their own company and cultivate a deeper sense of happiness and fulfillment in life. Connecting with Nature is a journey of rediscovery, a return to our roots, and a reconnection with the natural world that surrounds us. It is an opportunity to immerse ourselves in the beauty and tranquility of the great outdoors, to breathe in the fresh air and feel the earth beneath our feet. At its core, connecting with nature is about forging a deep and meaningful relationship with the natural world. It is about recognizing our interconnectedness with all living beings and the earth itself and honoring the inherent beauty and wisdom that exists in every leaf, rock, and stream. Nature has a way of grounding us, of reminding us of our place in the world and the importance of living in harmony with the environment. When we spend time in nature, we are reminded of the simple joys of life, the sound of birds singing, the rustle of leaves in the wind, the warmth of the sun on our skin. Moreover, connecting with nature offers a myriad of benefits for our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Research has shown that spending time in nature can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and improve mood. 
It can also enhance creativity, boost immune function, and promote feelings of awe and wonder. In today's fast-paced and increasingly urbanized world, many of us have become disconnected from nature. We spend our days indoors, surrounded by screens and artificial lights, and rarely take the time to venture outside and experience the natural world around us. But reconnecting with nature doesn't have to mean embarking on a grand adventure or traveling to far-flung destinations. It can be as simple as taking a walk in the park, tending to a garden, or watching the sunset from our backyard. This chapter explores the transformative power of connecting with nature and offers practical tips and suggestions for incorporating more outdoor time into our lives. It encourages us to slow down, unplug from technology, and reconnect with the natural world in whatever way feels most meaningful to us. Ultimately, connecting with nature is about finding solace and inspiration in the beauty of the natural world and nurturing a deep and abiding love for the earth and all its inhabitants. It is a reminder that we are not separate from nature, but a part of it, and that by caring for the earth, we are also caring for ourselves. In conclusion, the journey of exploring the power of solitude has revealed the profound impact it can have on our lives. From self-discovery and personal growth to mental well-being and connecting with nature, solitude offers a multitude of benefits for the mind, body, and soul. Through moments of solitude, individuals have discovered the strength and resilience within themselves learning to embrace their own company and find fulfillment from within. They have tapped into their creativity, productivity, and inner wisdom, unlocking their full potential and charting their own course in life. Moreover, solitude has provided a sanctuary for mental well-being, offering a reprieve from the stresses and pressures of modern life and fostering a deeper sense of peace and contentment. It has allowed individuals to reconnect with themselves on a profound level, cultivating self-awareness, self-acceptance, and emotional resilience. Additionally, connecting with nature has offered solace and inspiration, reminding us of the beauty and wonder of the natural world and our interconnectedness with all living beings. It has grounded us, rejuvenated us, and reminded us of the importance of living in harmony with the environment. As we reflect on the power of solitude, let us remember to prioritize moments of aloneness in our lives, to carve out space for self-reflection, introspection, and personal growth. Let us embrace solitude as a time for self-care and self-discovery, and as a pathway to finding peace, fulfillment, and meaning in our lives. And finally, if you found this video insightful and inspiring, we encourage you to like and share it with others who may benefit from its message. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on personal growth, mindfulness, and living a meaningful life. Thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration and discovery. May you continue to harness the power of solitude and unlock the limitless potential that lies within you.